All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick uh, opportunity on the Pound Lozzy that I wanted to share with you. Those of you who are structure-based traders, those of you who are uh, ratio pattern traders or uh, you trade double bottoms or you trade equal measured moves, whatever it is, I just want to show you some kind of discoveries that I've made in my own testing and development as a trader that might be able to help you with um, identifying high probability setups, but also sharing with you one that's currently on the Pound Aussie. So on the daily chart, you can see we've already pulled back down into this kind of 88.50 level. Um, this is a, a decent zone for uh, prices respected at this level. We're likely to see a reaction at this level. Uh, more often than not, we see a bounce, whether it's support or resistance, we see a reaction at this level. Now, if you're looking to um, get involved with this, first thing I wanna share with you is if we drop down to the four hour, you can see um, that we are at that level right now, we've already had a doji candle at that level, which was also previous structure support. And we also can see that we had that rejection at that level as well. So there was a strong reaction as we approached this level previously. But also, um, if we bring on our some of our tools here, if we first of all use the equal measured move tool, uh, let's just clone this quickly um, and bring that on. You're gonna see that the ABCD setup, the equal measured move, that harmonic move, uh, completes right there at that zone. Now, other things you can do here are, you know, use things like fibs. If you're using fib extensions, you can start bringing those on and bringing out uh, some confluence in that area. But if you don't use fibs, then there's other ways that you could potentially look for high probability um, executions on this, and that would be a retest. Now, before I, I show you the retest, those of you who are familiar with um, with advanced patterns, you know this is if this is an X to A leg for you, this is what we call a Gartley setup. If you're not familiar with Gartley patterns, um, Gartley patterns are very very popular amongst traders, um, particularly the traders that I know. Some of the traders that I work uh, I know work at prop firms use love Gartley patterns and butterfly patterns. But this is a Gartley setup. It completes right down at the uh, same zone as that ABCD setup. It's also a deep Gartley pattern because it pushes right into the 618, um, into the 722 actually, which means that the stop loss or the reward to risk ratio is gonna be good on this pattern. It's gonna be in your favor, almost a two to one, probably a 1.75 to one, something like that. Um, and then if that's not enough, if you drop down to the 60, you can see that we're actually putting in this retest right now. So. This is live. You're going to have to wait for the close of this candle, which is in about a minute. And if this if this uh, closes and this is a valid retest, which it looks like it's going to be, then you can enter next bar market. This is a double bottom. We've got RSI that's massively over uh, sold here. We've got really strong divergence on the RSI. Um, just to take this as a trade, what you would do is just wait for the next bar market. And a lot of people ask me what, what bar next bar market means. It means watching the market, waiting for the, the this market to close, and then entering your trade or executing your order on the open of the following candle. That's all it means. That's the next bar market. And we've got less than 20 seconds left of this hour. Uh, so look, you can see that we've just now opened up here. If you was to place a trade here, it would literally just be a case of creating a new order, um, buying at market, whatever your position size is, you know, um, stick it in and hit buy. And then that is a ne that is a next bar market order. Now, in terms of target taking on this, if you're taking the pattern set up, then you're going to be looking at a 382 retracement. But let's just bring on some fibs and, and put in some effort into our optimal target taking position, right? Uh, you can see the 382 is at 89.66. Okay, that's where the conventional pattern target entry or tar target order would be. Now, I would wanna be mindful of this here. If you're not tra trading the uh, pattern, you wanna be mindful of what's happened on this B leg. We've had this support level respected here, and that's gonna put you just below that 382, okay? But because you've entered on a retest, it means that if your stop loss is going an ATR below the um, the low, whoops, that's the, wrong, uh, that's the wrong thing, we're going long. If your stop loss is an ATR below the low of the retest, then you're still gonna get a nice reward to risk profile um, about a one and a half to one. So all you do to set your stop loss is you're gonna go in here, you're gonna 
put wh wherever your stop loss is going, 8807, so 8807. Uh, You're gonna t put a take profit in as well, just below the, the th this support level here, 89.43. And remember, this is just an, um, this is just a demonstration for you guys. It is just a uh, you know an explanation of what you might do and how you might place the orders. But lastly, what I want to share with you is this. When I did my own testing on Gartley patterns, what I found was is when the completion point had an equal measured move, when there was an equal measured move and the completion point was at the end of an equal measured move, the, there was a 19.5% higher probability of those patterns playing out in my favor. I also found that when there was a retest at the completion point, there was an 18.5% higher probability of that pattern playing out in our favor. Now in this instance, we've got the Gartley pattern, and although I haven't entered conventionally as the Gartley, we've got the equal measured move and we've got the retest, right? So there is this is a real higher probability Gartley setup. Now does it mean that it's definitely gonna hit targets? Absolutely not. Um, that would be a system that is 100% right you know, and that doesn't exist, or I've not found one that exists. And if you find one, let me know. Uh, but I've, I'm yet to find one. But it just shows you that this is a real high probability setup. And if you just take these setups, you know, whenever they whenever they present themselves, you take these, you're going to be on a onto a winner, you're going to be on a good system. So that's it. I hope you get value from that. Let me know how you're trading this and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.